my nose is so cold. Dad, what are you doing? Okay, everyone just be quiet for like 30 seconds. Okay, ready? Hi everyone, so I am back filming my Christmas gift exhibit for 2022. I did this last year, just kind of spur of the moment. I had a lot of fun doing it and my family really liked watching it. And so I decided to film another one because of course I wrapped gifts again this year. So gonna walk everyone through the gifts that I wrapped, uh, not what's in them, just how I wrapped them and how they look. So yeah. I think like last year, we should start with the animals, with the pets. So first we have two little gifts for two cats in my life. Not my cat, but my dad's cat, Jet, and my boyfriend's family's cat, Lucy. So here we have Lucy's. This is paper that my grandmother gave me. Um, it has a woodland scene. You'll be able to see it better on a different package that's a little bit bigger. And then the famous Target twine that they didn't sell last year and I was heartbroken because it was my favorite, but it's back, so I stocked up. So hopefully I'll be good for a couple more years. So this we have for Lucy, little tag with little Santa hat because it was gold. We have this one for Jet, it's with the green twine. Um, I got this at Target as well. And then a little tag with a gold leaf. These are both to the cats from My Cat Kitchens. Where did you get this? I do not remember. My grandmother cannot remember where this very beautiful paper came from, so sorry. So next we have a box for my dog, Holly. This is a paper that I used last year. So if anyone has any guesses as to what might be on the wrapping paper I used for my dog, guess now. Dogs. You're right, it's dogs. So this is actually one of my favorite gifts I did. This plaid ribbon I got from Target and I absolutely adore it. I'm pretty sure I got this from Target last year. I didn't see it again this year. So I don't think I have any left actually. So this might be the last time this shows up. And then there's a little tag. Um, I tried to match the background of the tag with this brown background on the wrapping paper. And I think that it, we pulled it off there. And then there's a little reindeer um, going with the animal theme. Do Holly from Kitchens. So. This is the one for Holly. And then next we're really deviating from the norm here, but these bags were just <laughs> These bags These bags Bags. I know. I know everyone is just gasping while they're watching this, but Look how cute this is. There's little black and white cats on here. I just thought that this art was so cute. So this one is for Kitsch. And then this one, we all have tuxedo cats. So Lucy's a tuxedo cat, Jet is, and Kitch is as well. And so, I mean, how could I not buy this? I'm hoping to reuse this over many years just because it was too perfect. We have some bags and I'm, I'm very happy with the bags despite the fact that I don't usually use them. Another thing I did last year was start with the ugly ones. And so I'm going to show off my least favorite and it's for my boyfriend. So I don't have any qualms about saying that. So there is, <laughs> So this is for my boyfriend, Camden. Um, this paper is from Target. It has a white background with a pink Volkswagen bug, maybe with flowers and Christmas trees. So it's kind of an offshoot of a motif that I really like, but I don't think they really executed. I wanted to just sort of experiment and try this. Um, I think I did the best with what I had, but I don't really like the paper. So again, the same Target twine. This is silver and then a snowman tag sticking to the white theme of this. Yes, this is for Camden. This is for my boyfriend's mom and cat from me and my cat. This one is really simple. This twine, I believe I got from my grandmother. Very dark green twine, it looks black. Used plain brown craft paper, which is that very like organic minimalist look that I really like. If you're a true fan and you watched last year, you'll know that I try to wrap things with a little red truck for Brenda. And so I had to add that little tag there. Even though the rest of the paper is really plain, it's still possible to add those little touches that I think really elevates it um, and makes it look really nice. So this is for Brenda. Does Holly want to show the next gift? So next we have a gift for my Uncle Rich. Last year, 
My Uncle Rich did not receive a wrapped gift. It was just in a card. So welcome Uncle Rich to the gift exhibit. We're happy you're here. We have this, this is a new paper and this is from Target. If you don't know this, my Uncle Rich is in seminary to be a priest. And so had to go with the angel themed paper for him. This is also, and now this is really digging deep into Uncle Rich's whole personality. Uh, you can't really see it super well on this one, but this says Alegria and Paz, which is peace and Alleluia in Spanish, and Uncle Rich had to take Spanish during seminary. So Uncle Rich, this is for you. Um, we have the same twine from Target, and then I have a little cardinal tag here. I didn't really have one that looked super great with it, and I was really digging deep for some connection, and I was like, well, angels fly and cardinals fly. There's this one for Uncle Rich. Next, we have one for my boyfriend's dad, Greg. This is actually the same paper that I used for him last year. He uh, loves to hunt, and so Camden and I always look for deer-themed paper for him. So this is the same one I used last year. I really liked it. Um, I think it's really fun because there's these coppery colored deers. I'm pretty sure we got this from the dollar store. I feel like everything from last year was from the dollar store, so that's a good bet. Same Target twine. I used the silver laced one. And then I got these tags at Target. There's a little deer there. It's also kind of coppery colored. This was actually an interesting one to wrap because uh, there's something in here. This is not a box that isn't perfectly rectangular. And so I kind of had to improvise on the corners here, but I think at least from a distance, it looks okay. This is for Greg. So next we have another for Brenda. And again, a callback to last year. We have the same red truck and Christmas tree motif happening here. This is actually a different twine. This is not the Target twine. I don't know where he got this, but my boyfriend got me a pack of red and green twine. It's like striped kind of. And so some of the green on this one, a great tip that I think I shared last year is you want to match the direction of the paper to the orientation of the bow. It would look really funky if the bow is tied like this, because then the trucks would be going up and that would look really strange. So always make sure that that is matched. We have just like a little Christmas tree tag here um, to match the Christmas trees. So this is for Brenda. So next we have my four favorites, I think, with one recurring paper that I am now out of. So this will be the last time anyone sees it. So we'll start with that. So we'll start with that one, actually. This one is for my dad. This is, I'm pretty sure his favorite paper. Would you say this is your favorite paper of mine? <coughs> uh, yes. Yes, this is for Craigie, this beautiful dollar store green and gold Merry Christmas paper. I love this paper. I think it's just so pretty and classic. And then I use the same twine from Target, just plain green twine, a little tag. It's just a Christmas tree with gold and green because again, you wanna try and coordinate those colors. So this is for Craigie. Now, I'd like to point out that I used to use that paper. This paper? Yes. When? Years ago. Oh. oh yeah. Reasons, I love it. Well, my dad couldn't find the paper and that's why he stopped using it, but he used to use it. So. so next we have another for my boyfriend and this is that Woodland Creatures paper. This is that Woodland Creatures paper that I wrapped the little gifts for the cats in. And you can get a better look at it here. It's really gorgeous. My grandmother cannot remember where she got it, uh, which is disappointing because I would buy more of this because I think it's really pretty. I think it very much fits my aesthetic. Same Target twine. I used a lot of this twine this year because I think last year I was scared to use it because I thought I was going to run out. But now I have a bunch of spools of it, so I'm like... <laughs> So now that I just have a ton of this twine, I'm just using it all the time. A little leaf, gold leaf tag, uh, which I really like. That's for Camden. Why do you keep barking? This is a rudeness. Oh. Give me a kiss. Can you? Next, we have a gift for Craigie. He just said that he likes this paper when I was showing the gift for my uncle. So glad for him, happy that that worked out. Same angel paper that I think is very, very pretty. Um, I only used it for two gifts because I forgot that I had bought it. I only have two gifts in this. I probably would have done it for, used it for a lot more because I really like it. But yeah, so the same angel paper, I used the green twine that I used, that I used also for the gift for my dad, uh, the Merry Christmas one. So that same green twine and then a little tag with cranberries. Hollies? Holly? Holly berries? Some berries, red berries. This is for my dad. It's very heavy, so I hope he likes it. So the next one is even heavier. Our last gift here is 
for my boyfriend again for Camden. And this is my favorite. I just think this gift is so, I have it upside down, that this gift is so classic and pretty and cute. I got this plaid ribbon at Target. Uh, so yeah, just the plain brown craft paper. And then, so this is um, something I think that I mentioned last year, I can't remember exactly, but I used to have this paper with pine cones and pine needles on it that Camden really, really liked. And so I wrapped all of his gifts in it. I am out of that. And so even though this is just plain brown, I did add a little tag that had a pine cone on it. So even though, you know, the, the pine cone doesn't necessarily coordinate with the aesthetic of the rest of the package, it's a little bit sentimental. And so I wanted to add that. Um, again, one of the things that no one would really notice, but I think elevates it a little bit, at least, uh, at least for Camden personally. So, hi Elf Mog. Hi Allie. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Um, I wanted to ask you, what was your favorite gift of mine that I wrapped this year? My favorite gift is the one that you wrapped for Camden in plain craft paper with that beautiful tartan ribbon. This one? Yes, that's beautiful and it's so Camden. So straightforward and honest and sweet. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Um, sort of, yeah. <laughs> uh, Holly, what was your favorite gift? with the animal motif. Yeah, the ones with the animal motif. Okay, so the ones with the dog, the one with yes. the woodland creatures. Yes. Yeah. So long as the animals are in the picture, that's our favorite. Okay, Craigie, what was your favorite of the gifts I wrapped this year? Well, I love this paper, and I used to use it. Right. So it's, uh, I'm a little partial to it. This, this is just simple and classic. And you know what? That bow is just about as perfect a bow as you can make. Thanks, Craigie. So I'm, I'm impressed with that. Thank you. Yeah, you've done well for yourself. Thanks. Those are all of the gifts that I wrapped this year. I am proud of this bunch. I think it's, I kind of ventured out with more papers that, uh, you know, kind of venturing out from just the plain brown, but still trying to stick to the general vibe that I have a very minimalist and classy and whatever. So I thank you for joining me. And again, I will repeat the refrain that it doesn't matter what gifts you give, it just matters how good they look. So Merry Christmas. Christmas, I invite you all to come to my upstairs bedroom. That's an open invitation to everyone watching this video. Well, no, no, it isn't. It's 